What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a gameplay with a squad of the worst Galaxy Opals in NBA 2K20, my team. So guys, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. I'm guessing by the time this video comes out, we've hit 190k. So if we have, big, big thank you. If not, we are literally within 10. We're literally within 10. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... If you guys are new to the channel, we're trying to 200,000 subscribers as soon as possible, and there is nowhere where you will find more my team content than this. But anyway, now let's get on to it. These are the worst opals you can buy. So there's been a lot of bad free opals. That's all I'm going to say. There's been a lot of free hidden rubies, as in free opals that are worse than rubies, but at the same time, these are the worst galaxy opals that you can buy in this game. So at the point guard position, this was kind of tough for me because I was looking through and I was like, oh, most of these are pretty good. Then I forgot Jason Kidd exists. Yeah, he fits a specific purpose. He can lock people down. He's got 95-3. He has the worst release in the game. Well, up there with the worst release in the game. His on-ball seal tendency is 82, though. So, like, he's a significantly worse Gary Payton. That's basically what you're getting with this card here. And then our backup two guard is going to be... Sorry, our backup point guard. I was looking through again. I'm like... Don like Lonzo ha Lonzo's basically a slightly better release Jason Kidd who's two inches taller with like max wingspan and a better steel tendency I was like oh I don't really want to put Lonzo into a worse squad Gary Payton has a decent enough release Steve Nash Steph Curry are snipers Kyle Lowry's an absolute sniper Chauncey Billups is a sniper and um, Caruso's got bad interior defense but he can dunk and can shoot and is quite tall Big O's good but then I was looking through and I was like okay maybe Trey Young Trey Young has only got gold clamps as far as I know um and also he's only six foot two but he's got quite a good release he's got 107 and i forgot Kyrie exists Kyrie irving man his release is terrible his release is so so terrible but anyway yeah he is our second worst point guard that you can buy in my opinion and then at the two guard position we are going to put in two of the spotlight sim cards so it's going to be devin booker and donovan mitchell these two cards right here. Mitchell is like, he's all right. He's better at the point guard position, but like, he's just another one of those Derrick Rose type players. I assume I have Derrick Rose, don't I? He's another one of those Derrick Rose slash John Wall slash Westbrook. Like, I don't even think he's as good as. Let me see. He's not as good as the LeBron Pink Dime. He's not as good as Bonga card. Like, he's buying average. He's basically like. The equivalent of like a diamond ja or diamond Dennis Smith Jr. But again, not absolutely terrible. But if you're looking at the two guard positions between like him, Jerry Stackhouse, and probably Dirk, and Dirk fits a purpose of post fading, and Jerry Stackhouse is that little bit better. So yeah, and Iverson's definitely better. Iverson is Iverson can cook people. It's just that he's tiny. So yeah, Donovan Mitchell is going in here. Now the small forward position. The small forward position is really good for power for a small four or for cards you can buy. So. There's a couple of like not great ones, like Maggetti's definitely in there. But from using them, I personally think just the way his dribble sigs are and just the way he moves, you gotta put Danny Granger in this conversation, like in as the worst small forward. Like, yeah, he's got base 11, he's got a good release, but like his handle's bad, his stats are very mediocre, and he's just not great. And then a card that I don't like, like if you look at these cards, I really like Keenan, I like Kawhi, I like Richard, I like Durant, I really like Steven Jackson, really like PG, really like. Porter, Hedo, Worthy, you can't buy him. Hayward, um, I actually very much like Gordon Hayward. Uh, Karolenko, Lamar, Tatum. So, a bunch of cards that I like. So, I will put in Mellow, but I know for a fact the comment section will go crazy. So, I'm just going to put in Gordon Hayward. I don't, I think it's Mellow, but I'll put in Hayward because I know you guys go crazy. Power forward position, there is two very obvious ones. There's Evo, Pau Gasol, who I think is terrible. And there is also Blake Griffin. Or sorry, not Blake Griffin. Kevin Love non evo Kevin Love's way better than his Evo, by the way. Kevin Love non evo and Pegasol evo Also, lads, um, if you argue at Larry Hughes, I still would take Larry Hughes over Don Mitchell. But Pegasol has got overall good stats. His release is just terrible. He's got a really slow release. And that basically makes this card almost worthless. Kevin Love. Yeah, he's got 41 off badges. Like, he can spot up and shoot, but, like, he's not fast. He can't handle the ball, and he can't play defense. So, yeah, he's going in here. And at the center position, we're going to go with 
a really obvious one and one of the worst cards I've used in the game this year, Patrick Ewing. Then we are going to go with a undersized center who's actually not bad, he's just undersized. If he was taller, he'd be fine. Like, I'm saying this right now, if um, Bob McAdoo was taller and he already had range extender, he'd be perfectly fine. So we are just going to run with this lineup right here. These five starters, these five is the bench. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we can uh, ma so manage to pull off a win here. His team may be all opals, but you better believe it's not that good a squad. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against... Oh! A very... Kareem aside, we're playing against a very bad opal squad right here. Devin Booker literally has got the dribble animations of a big man. And not even a good big man. Oh, I hate his release so much. We got lucky we hit that one there. I don't think does anyone on my team have a good... Booker's release isn't terrible. And he hit the moving meter shot. That's one of the most OP shots in the game. It's like Booker's release is not terrible. Granger's release isn't terrible. But the other threes are awful. The other three on the team. Like, that is not a good release whatsoever. But it's not quite as bad as Gasol's though. See what he does. And he... Okay, we're even. We both hit one wide each. This guy can play a bit. Not gonna lie, I can play, run to the basket. Oh my god. That's that. Nope. I don't know what Pegasus fadeaway is like. Wide open midi. We knocked down the early. Good shot. Okay, I'm not gonna let this guy hit me with any of that trail cheese, which is the only thing he's been looking for this game. Oh, bad shot. Oh, we should not have hit that. We should not have hit that. Lost the ball right back across. We're waiting. We're waiting in the middle. We're waiting for these passes. Let's go. We're there. We're... Apparently, we're not. Not the biggest deal in the world. He's got a good move behind the back. I should be able to get to the basket a little bit, kid. Depending on what way he's playing me. Actually, no. He's using Trey Young. Should be fine. And we shoot an early again, and it goes in. We have hit three earlies in this game, and we are two and a bit minutes in. We're, three, we're basically on uh, track to one early a minute. He deserves this. He deserves a basket in this possession. Regardless of how bad he shoots, he deserves a basket. We've just hit too, we've hit too many earlies. Oh my god. These releases. These releases. Oh my god, they're so bad. All of them. Please. Okay, someone with a competent release. Just get some space, get some space. Oh, that's better. I know I missed timed it, but you know what? That's better. It just feels good to not have to wait three seconds before a player releases the ball. Should be. Keep it in, keep it in. Okay, it's our ball. I was wondering why he didn't attempt to keep it in. It worked. We're not good. What do you do? Okay, it's our ball. How is that our ball? Sure, Granger literally tipped the ball as it was about to cross the end. I don't know. I'll take it. I'll take it, but I'm like 95% sure that, that was their ball. Good. Good dunk, Granger. Let's go. Oh, it's green. Oh, that's green every time. Let's go. At least I know for a fact we got good releases apart from Kyrie on this team. I don't mind Donovan Mitchell's base four. I don't think it's a good three hunting base, but off the catch, it's money. So Donovan Mitchell can straight up, like he can cook off the catch. Fly high, because we can paint it. Straight into our hands. Let's go, let's push it, McAdoo. Oh, I did not realize his six were this bad. Kyrie, let's go. Oh, we, we got the steal. Please go for three. Please go for three. Oh, he hasn't been shooting well, so I was kind of hoping he went for three there. Corner. Green that. There we go. Let's go. McAdoo again. He's undersized. No range extended. But if you leave him wide open from the corner, I'll hit the shots like. Throw the ball into my hands. Throw the ball into my hands. Let's go. Oh, give me some space. Go cook Kyrie Irving. Don't get swatted, which he does. It's fine. We may have the speed to run out. Yes, we do. And it's wide open. We smoke it. But it's good. Let's go. Give us the wide 2K. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Throw the ball into my hands. Ah, oh, you shot that. You shot that. Let's go. Fake screen. Nothing's on. Nothing's on. All right to the basket. Corner. Green that. Good shot right there by Kyrie Irving. 
Oh, he's got Pro 1 behind the back. Oh, they leave corner. Mitchell got into a dumb position. Someone has to be open. It's Kevin Love. Ah, oh, we should have shot that. And that's green. Good shot. Should have shot that one first time, though. Like, I got lucky there he jumps. Because if he didn't jump, he had me clamped. Throw into my hands. It's Kyrie in the corner. Kyrie Irving. Green. There we go. See? We can still win even with the worst Opals. When we're playing against a team of slightly better Opals. But still quite bad. Because you better believe his team are, uh, are not good Opals. They're not good Opals by any means. Well, the Opals that he's running. Someone has to be open here. Someone has to get open off this. Kevin Love. Put it up, put it up. Oh, we got blast. We got blast. 16 point lead here, though. Steal. Straight into our hands. Just go to the basket. Do not even attempt. I'm not even going to attempt to shoot with any of these guys unless it's Danny Granger. Like, there's actually no point. I, I know for a fact I'm not going to hit a shot with any of these guys, so. I also can't tween up the court with them like I can with Donovan Mitchell and I'm Gordon Hayward. So, you know what, lads? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Run around him right to the basket. Okay, he actually brought in help defense. We got blessed. Yeah, that's fine, though. He brought in help defense late, so if we had have expected that to come, I could have read it better. Throw the ball into my hands, please. Ah, he decided not to do it this time. Down by 10 here, or up by 10 here. Try to run around him. See what he does. Okay, you decided to go back into the post right there. That's fine. Shoot the fade. Good shot. There we go. Fadeaways. It's impossible to get more than a yellow contest on fades, as far as I know. Again, the ins and outs of this game are known best by the pro on players, and I heard it from one of them, so I think it's true that you can't get a red contest on a fade, but may not be. Oh, green that. Come on, we gotta be better. That's our That's our ball anyway. And one good thing is Ewing does have one of the best fades in the game. Ah, we sold. Unlucky. Just run. Just run, just run. Corner. He can actually shoot them. They jump. Oh, fade away. No corner. I'll take the a very early hook. I just realized I was like, Granger's open. One of the two players I can shoot with wide open. Granger and Booker. Both of them can hit wide open. Please throw the ball into my hands. Please throw the ball into my hands. Good pass and it's off, Shirley. You got that board, Granger. Okay. I'll play probably a minute to start the fourth with these guys. So I've never even checked what Granger's sigs are. Okay, they're not great. They're kind of slow. Booker, shoot that, why not? Gasol, in the corner. We almost greened. Shot us slightly. Like, minus Kyrie, they can all hit an open jumper. Actually, no, Kyrie's green too. Kyrie can hit an open jumper as well. We're only up by two. And we had a 17 point lead at one stage. Green that. Good, just like that. Just like that. The gap between the starters and the bench. I was shocked that Granger was so bad. I was so well, I was so bad at Granger. The gap between the starters and the bench is crazy. Like even someone like a McAdoo for my playstyle, who while is not very good, just because he has a moderately quick release. Like I would legitimately take Ruby Thonmaker over um Ewing in most scenarios. Oh, that's, that's not smart by me. It's not smart. There was no point even going for that. Into my hands, exactly where he wanted it. Someone just go outside the three-point line. All three of you guys ran in. I want a three-pointer. I want a three-pointer. Let's go. It's like that nine-point lead. Or seven-point lead. I thought he was going to go to love there. And he should have a dunk. Good foul. All right. Perfect. We were going to be late there anyway. It was basically a guaranteed two if he had the dunk. So, if he hits the two, that was a smart foul. And he did. That's fine. Right to the basket. Corner. They're leaving Kevin Love all the time. Every time they're leaving Kevin Love. Kevin Love, non evo cannot do anything except shoot the ball. But you better believe he can shoot the ball. Like, he is one of the best catch and shoot releases in the game. And he can absolutely shoot it. Not from deep. Green that. Oh, he blew it. Oh, he got, we got blessed. We should not have hit a 42% white. That's off, Shirley. He deserved that, though. He 100% deserved that after the white that I hit. Corner. Green that. It's open. It's my fault. It's 
fine. Quick one. Quick bump. We got him completely away from the basket. We got him away from danger. Good defense. Keep him away from danger. Keep him away from danger zone. Like, we can double that hard. We can double that hard. Kareem's not that much of a danger. Because he can't. He's not at the risk of popping. I know you want to throw it into my hands. I know you want to throw it into my hands. And we go right down and hit the white with Gordon Hayward. Good shot there by Kyrie. Okay, leads up to 12. He's got his bronzes on. And yeah, that is it for the game. Good shot. How he hit that, I don't know. But you know what? It's 2K20. Corner. And we saw Hayward. Okay, so win by nine there. That was a bad game by me, though. So in the end, Kevin Love, six of eight from the field, five, six, and three. Kevin Love did actually hit his first six shots. Kyrie Irving, like our starters were minus six. Our bench was plus 15. Kyrie Irving at 13, Patrick Ewing at nine, Jason Kidd at seven. Um, McAdoo had seven as well. Granger had five. Gasol had five. Hayward at three. Booker had three. Mitchell had three. And obviously, the didn't play. But like, you're looking at our starters. Gasol, one of two from three. Booker, one of two. Granger, one of four. Jason Kidd, 1 of 4. Ewing, 0 of 3. Like, the percentage, like, looking at the shooting percentage, we shot 58 in the first quarter, 73 in the second. We shot 38 in the third and 58 in the fourth. Like, the gap between those two is actually crazy. Those worst Opals. Man, imagine if we had, like, Gus Williams and the lads in there. Like, that would have been, that would have been even tougher. Like, Gus Williams, then we had, like, Dominique in there. And Dan Issel, man, that would have been nearly... Actually, no, Dan Issel's got a better release than Pau. That would have been probably easier. And, like, Gus Williams, again, is a much better release than Jason Kidd. I don't think I could have got any worse than this starting line, to be honest. Like, Booker can... Is, is useful in the catch and shoot, but no one can go to the basket. He can't get open. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I think you only love me because I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's robbing. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know.